Hello everyone, today we are going to look at BitLocker Windows Drive encryption management through the command line. While we can manage the BitLocker through the GUI interface on Windows operating system, but it is always good to know the command line reference because then you can programmatically access the features and turn on or turn off some of the uh, configuration and you can have it uh, tuned according to your needs as well. So anyways, there are three mainstream areas or the actions that we can perform with the BitLocker manage BDE command. The first one being the default one, which is encrypting and decrypting the disk. The second one is maintaining or doing the configuration change or updates to the BitLocker. And third one is doing the key management with it. The first one is very easy with the manage BDE command line reference. We can turn on the encryption on a given drive letter. In this particular case, it is E drive and we are encrypting only the used space on the drive. The second example turns on the encryption on a C drive with an option of providing a recovery password. The third option is not the recovery password, but also adding the recovery key to it. The recovery key saves the password on a given drive letter. In this particular example, we are also giving the recovery password. So we are basically turning on the encryption on C drive with a recovery key saved on a E drive and a recovery password additionally given onto it. The fourth option is turning on the encryption on E drive with a password and giving the encryption method between the choices of AES-128, 256, XTS AES-128 and AES-256 as well. So we can have any of the encryption method chose, chosen between these. Then we are turning on the encryption and giving a startup key as an external drive. It can be a USB drive as well. And the purpose of giving this is making sure that till the time startup key is not provided to the operating system, it will not allow you to load the operating system files into the memory and hence will prevent the load of operating system for any user. Finally, turning off the encryption on the C drive. Now, if for some reason we need to lock or unlock, we can use hyphen unlock on the BitLocker encrypted drive and giving the path to the recovery key so that the action can be performed. Now we come into the maintenance section where we can see the status with the manage BDE status. We can add the protectors and get the protectors as well. So protectors is a parameter which allows us to interact with get or set type of protectors with the uh, BitLocker encrypted drive. So here we are reading the protectors from the C drive and we are giving a specific type of the protector and that is a recovery password. So we are listing down the recovery, pro recovery password as the protector from the C drive. Similarly, if you want to add, so we can use hyphen add and the drive letter on which you want to add the protector and give the type of the protector. The manage BDE protectors add E RP is recovery password, RK is recovery key, and then giving the path where we want to save the recovery key. Then add on the drive letter and giving the password only. Here we are deleting a specific protector from our C drive and giving the identifier of that protector. So we don't have a serial number, but rather we have the identifier. So give that identifier here to delete the protector from the bit locker. Similarly, we can delete the startup key as well. We can add the backup and uh, we can give the protector as well again. Now from a key management standpoint, we can change the password. So the password that we have given earlier, we can change it or we can change the key as well. Now let's get into the action and see all of this is getting performed on the Windows command shell. Right, so manage BDE is a command to see the status of the drives encryption on the Windows. I can just see hyphen status without giving any drive letter and it dumps the status for all the 
externally and the internally connected drive. So what I see is my C drive is fully decrypted. My D drive, which is uh, external drive, is fully decrypted. My E drive, which is again an external USB drive, is fully encrypted. Now, the way we want to encrypt or the way we can encrypt the drive, let's say I want to do it on the D drive. What I can do is manage BDE. I want to turn on the encryption on the D drive and I want to give a password as the protector so that in case I want to retrieve the data, I can enter this password to retrieve the data. And I can also give a recovery key to be saved on my C drive. Now this recovery key is going to add another protector to this D drive. And in case I forget the password, I have an alternate protector saved as a file on the C drive, which I can utilize to recover my data at a later point in time. Now I press enter and that's where the encryption would start for it. It'll also ask me for the password. So I'll enter the password confirmation. And there you go. You see that the password is added and there's an external key as added as well. And the file name for that is this. And this is stored on a C drive. Now, while this is in progress, I can see the status of the encryption. And there, there it is, 0.1%. So it will take it will take some time. While it is taking time, let's look at the E drive and let's remove the protectors from it. So the way we can do is again manage BDE and we are dealing with the protectors this time. So I say protectors. And let's say I want to see the protectors first. So get and I want to see it on the E drive. So I have a password and I have an external key with this file name. And this is the identification for that external key, not the key itself. However, let's say I want to delete the protectors onto it. So delete. And while I am deleting the protector, I need to specify either the ID or the type of it. So let's say I want to delete it with the type password. And it has automatically deleted the ID this, which was a password indeed. Now I want to delete the ID as well. So let's say ID and then I will give this as an ID to be deleted. And there you go, the ID is deleted. Now if I see the status of it, I don't see any protectors there. Now if I have to add a protector, let's say this time, so manage BDE protectors and I want to add it in a E drive from where we have removed the password and the recovery key. So I'm going to add a recovery password here. So short form I can use is RP or I can just say recovery password as well. Both will work. Now you see that there is a numerical password which is a recovery password added to it. I can add a normal password as well, which is a human rememberable password or memorable password rather. And I am entering that here. And there you go. Now, if I see the manage BDE status, E drive, I see there's a numerical password and there is a password as well. If I get these protectors, for the E drive, I see this is a numerical password, a numerical password, and this is an ID for the password that we have entered. So this way you can manage the protectors, you can add protectors, you can remove the protectors as well, and you can delete the protectors as well using the uh, manage BDE command. Now, let's say you want to turn off the encryption, so you can just say manage BDE and 
off and then give the drive letter. This will turn off the encryption on the E drive. Similarly, I will not enter because we have to demonstrate. So I will say manage PDE and I want to change the password. So change password for a drive letter E. If I say this, it asks me for the new password. So let's enter the new password. And that's it. So if you look at the protectors, these are the two protectors that we have. Now, in order to check whether the protectors are working for us or not, we need to first enable the protection on the drive. So the way we do that is manage BDE protectors, enable, and then E drive. And that's where you see that the key protectors are enabled for volume E. Now let's lock the drive. So right now, for example, I can go into the drive, I can say DIR and it works. Now let's manage BDE and I want to lock the drive. So lock E and that's where it is now locked. Now if I try to go into E, it says the drive is locked by BitLocker drive encryption. Now the way I want to access this is by unlocking it. So I can just say manage BDE and I want to unlock the drive. This is a drive and using the password, one of the protectors that we have provided. It asked me for the password. And that's it. I can now travel into E drive. That's how you manage the bit locker from a managed BDE command perspective. If you like the video, please, please subscribe. Press the notification icon as well so that you get to see the new videos from me and do share it so that other people can also learn from it. Till the time we come up with the next video, enjoy and take care. Bye-bye.